guys have seen me since we got back from our elopement. So, hello, welcome back, my made woman. Yes, yes, me. So, back to work, back to the grind. It's Tuesday, uh, January 25th, and I know that because I have my computer right here because, you know, the work don't stop for no one, okay? That's what Amazon said. They're going to get their money out of me, okay? So, I just bring it in here while I curl my hair. Um, I had it straight basically all of last week just because... I didn't feel like curling it. Honestly, my hair is not typically good to hold a curl, so these probably, I'm really curious to see how long these will last. But since my hair is so straight right now, like, I mean, since made this silky straight, maybe it will last a little bit longer. I don't know. Like, the curls look different when I'm curling it right now. So, maybe it lasts longer. Um, I put a little dry shampoo in it just to, like, get my hair a little body in it. I know dry shampoo is usually what people use, but I typically will use that just to give my hair like when it gets like oily even though it's not super oily right at this moment it just kind of gives it a little bit more body so yeah i used this dry shampoo got it from ulta and then i used the go-to she is that how you say it she sha she i'm not the best pronunciator but uh that's what i used to put on my hair heat protectant the other stuff is just like holding my curls so maybe i actually probably should use i have this hairspray this one so I think I may use this one Okay, he's coming. He's on. He's in the middle of a work call, that, so he's trying to step okay. away. But I did have a couple of questions while we wait on him. So the thing was, we had reached out back in December because we knew we were going to elope in the top of January. So last week we were already in D.C. and we already said our vows and stuff. So I'm just wondering, are we just going to have to pick a new marriage date? We said our vows on the 19th. So could we still use that date or is that not possible? Like usually like with the documents, you'll have to put today's date or date after. Okay. Or a date, like since that time is already passed. Like, because you have to be like getting married and then coming all after the fact. Okay. But you can't put that date back here because like it's already passed. So you would have to sign and put today's date okay. before any, any date after. Well, he should be here in a second. If you can okay. just give us yeah, one more so moment. We can, we can with your information first. Okay, that works. Can I get your full name that's on the application? Yes, it's Kiana Michelle Draper. Okay. Date of August 29th, is that correct? Correct. Okay, back to the golden documents that I'll be issuing you. Okay. So one would say addendum, and the other one would say return copy for the clerk of the court. You as your officiant, you will sign all three documents. Okay, sounds good. And he's here now, so okay. if you want to ask him his questions. Hi, how are you doing? Doing well. Good. So this would be real quick. Just want to go over and confirm all your information on the marriage application. And the address is the same as your fiance, correct? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. And no prior marriages on your part, correct? Correct. Okay, perfect. So I'd like to give you both the oath. Do you affirm that the answers to the information on the application in question are true? 
Yes, ma'am. Um, I went over everything with your fiance. Like I said, I will have all the documents issued to you guys' email within the next five to ten minutes. Okay. So, like I said, once you guys receive those documents, just confirm um, that you've got them. Yes, ma'am. Sounds good? Okay. I think I have everything I need from you guys, and you guys have a great rest of your day. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So, y'all heard that. Basically... Let me try to get some decent lighting. Is there decent lighting in this house? Is there? Somebody tell me. So basically last month, back in December, when me and Quan decided we were gonna elope, which was shortly after, it was before we even proposed, we already had decided that was probably the route we were gonna take. By the way, y'all see how these girls are already kind of starting to fall? Right there, that was the marriage bureau. I don't know if you heard that part. But we already decided we was gonna elope. We learned in DC, you can self officiate You don't have to actually have somebody there with you. So we reached out. They were supposed to reach back out to us within five days. They never reached back out within five days. So top of January, I was like holiday season, maybe they backed up, cool. So I reached out to them in January to follow up. Didn't get a response. Put another marriage application in, didn't get a response. This is like top of January, still probably like January 6th or something. I started making phone calls to like get the process moving. They had like an extension number they dealt with the other offices or judges, whatever, but it wasn't like the marriage bureau. So called them and they were basically telling me they didn't have the contact number, but they was like, my stuff was in the portal. Like it was like loaded. They just didn't start my application process. So at that point I emailed them like directly one more time. And I was just like, Hey, this is urgent. Cause at this point it was probably like a week before we were like scheduled to go on the trip because we had already planned this trip all the way back in December. So we already booked the Airbnb and all the stuff. They finally decided to reach back out to us, ask for our paperwork and stuff, filled the paperwork out, send it back to them. And then they were like, okay, now we're going to send you an email about payment. That was supposed to come within the next day or two. It didn't come in time. It didn't come until the day I believe we left for our trip or that Monday. Uh, which was like the 17th, I think. That's when that came in. I did the payment immediately, sent it back to them. Like that day, like literally within the hour, they sent it to me. And I didn't get a response back. I emailed them beforehand. I was like, hey, we're getting married. <laughs> within two days, can we please have somebody call us soon? Because all it was is a phone call like you just saw. They asked us to confirm the information we gave on our papers. We confirm it and then they just move on. And then they'll send us our marriage certificate through email. So I was just trying to get somebody to call me, <laughs> nobody called. So we were just kind of like, okay, we're just gonna say our vows on this day and we'll just actually get our certificate probably for another day, which is just what kind of happened. I was hoping maybe they could backdate it for you girls since we had already had our stuff in the system, but I guess that's a dub. But either way, we're married. We already knew like when we said our vows, that was, we said it above God. So he, he really is the one who I say makes the call was the real officiant, but whatever. We're married, just a little update on that. All right guys, final product this had i always do so crappy on this side y'all i think it's because i have to do the curl the reverse way with my opposite hand it doesn't work out but i think it's a little cute it gives it a little bit different look i feel like i've been rocking it straight for a week or so so i'm not over it so i'm about to make my schedule for today i got i feel like i have quite a bit to do but i think it's just because i haven't written it out yet and i don't like in my head it's cute how this lighting is but i'm also hoping this isn't disturbing y'all's eye but um just like how I am, like, if I don't write things out, it feels like it's all in my head, and then it just feels even that much more overwhelming. So, I don't know exactly if I have, I actually have a lot to do, or if I'm just feeling like I have a lot to do. Because this week we're back and running, like, we're not on vacation anymore, I need to prep this stuff. So, yeah, I'm about to watch me do that. Oh, you decided to come back. <laughs> I gave her the option, in or out. If she was gonna come in or out, because I closed the door so I can also help myself focus. But she likes to come in and check on us to make sure we're okay. She's so sweet. So she'll come in and peek her head and like, you all right? And then she'll dip. She does it with Kwan too. Or if we're like in two different rooms, let's say I'm in the living room and he's in the office, like she'll sit in between the doors and she'll just watch us both to make sure we're both okay. The schedule for today, I decided to break it off um, by like home, work, passion projects, and what I need to do right at this moment breathe <laughs> this list is a little overwhelming right now i don't think i'm gonna get all this done today but hopefully maybe by chance we will so right now i need to do a few things on my computer before i decide to get in my devotion just because i know that's gonna take a minute it's always so hard for me to like get out of my word and go back to work y'all it'd be so difficult so i usually try to get in my word before i go to work but 
that's probably not going to happen today just because I need to respond to these people beforehand. So just respond to that really quick, then spend time with God. And then I'm going to get back into work, do some work things. I need to manage some cases, prep for some events that we have coming up and get some more formats back out. I just edit some formats for my team and get that back out. I think I may go ahead and throw a wash of load in the laundry right now because our laundry bin is getting ridiculous. And then we got to go view a home at five today. And at seven in South Carolina, that's a whole story for you guys. I know the last vlog I was like, South Carolina, God is good. We just gonna, we gonna trust God and we just gonna move in it. Then I need to prep my vlog for going. Well, I need to prep. I have the best husband, y'all. So I think I've shared in a previous vlog for me to try to do all my work, vlog, edit, start the podcast just and live life as well it does overwhelm me and it takes away from like my joy of wanting to do stuff so my wonderful husband has decided to edit my footage for me and he's such an amazing editor too he just started and he like literally is killing it but he always had like a passion for video editing and things like that so it just worked out and he was like i'll just do them for you but i need to prep the footage for him to edit which means just like surfing through and like figuring out what the storyline for this vlog is going to be and then just prepping it for him so he can start to edit it and stuff and that wanted to make us a schedule too just so we have a better understanding of who works what what do i need to do what are my responsibilities for editing what are his responsibilities yeah we just had a whole sit down conversation for that and then probably need to make a schedule for cleaning in the house we don't work too good on oh this is your day to clean this is my day to clean type thing so i think we're going to try to figure out a different way to do it so yeah i guess i'm about to get started on that literally this is this all the other side is worse it's just so that was a complete fail but we are actually about to head out right now we're going to look at houses once again but now we're looking in south carolina this is one house we have to basically put an offer on okay let me change that we can put an offer on it earlier before it actually hits the market on friday but we won't be able to see the inside of it but we could still put an offer in so we're about to just go look and see um what the neighborhoods if it's somewhere we want to live if it'll be a good investment all that good jazz probably head back probably go get some dinner y'all i'm hungry i haven't ate yeah i think i want some dinner babe we gonna eat it out or we so i stay in tonight yeah okay we have a few more house viewings this saturday in that area in rock hill that's where we're thinking about staying which is like on the border of charlotte on the border of north carolina and south carolina which i think in this area this particular area it will only be like 30 minutes from downtown charlotte only like 20 minutes from the airport which is even closer than we are right now it's looking like it may be a go it's two of them that are like our favorites right now so we'll see i'm currently watching my vlog in the background if you haven't seen my engagement vlog like towards the end honestly it's so much fun me and my friends were just like singing and dancing after the engagement so if you haven't seen that i tag it above but yeah so that's our plan for the day i'll check in with you guys later what's good guys so it is the next day i just got done with work been in meetings all day we have off sites i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's basically where you just have different meetings about different topics about your role so been in that all day so i'm very very excited to be off work i am currently about to get ready i just got the shower 
I got really fresh, put some perfume on. I'm feeling very feminine right now. I'm coming with that very feminine energy. That's how I feel. So we are actually about to go on a date night, a double date night actually with our friends. We're gonna go out to a jazz bar. I think that's what they're called or jazz studio. Whatever it is, we're going to listen to some live music and I'm really hyped about it. We went about three months ago, maybe four, um, and it was amazing, y'all. I love just like vibing out. Kwan was making fun of me because I would just close my eyes and I literally just listened to it. I feel like when I close my eyes, I can feel things much deeper. So it was such a good time and I think they're going to love it too because they seem like the type to like live music. If you don't like live music, I don't know if I fuck with you. I just don't know. It's live music. Like how do you not enjoy it? So we'll probably eat there. I'm about to get really cute and done up. I feel like it's been a really long time. I say I feel like it's been a long time but I just got dressed up last week for my wedding. And if you haven't watched that video you guys, please go back and watch my eloping video. Me and my husband, we decided to elope and we decided to do it just me, him, and our dog. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'll tag it up here. Go check it out. But anyways, today I'm about to get cute. I'm about to put some curls in this hair. I'm gonna try to make it happen again, y'all. I'm gonna try to make it happen. We'll see if it actually stays in my head. But yeah, we're about to get started on this makeup. I'm about to turn my music on. I'm Like these boots fit all the way um so we gonna pray for me i don't know if i mentioned my babe got me this literally like probably three years ago probably when we first started dating and i never wore it but i'm wearing it now oh, cute it's a child We get to do a longer show. Yeah. We're just gonna marinate in this. Are you with us? Yeah, woo! You're like the only audience that really doesn't have to leave fast. So I'm gonna take about 15 seconds, y'all. You okay? 15, 20. Okay. Thank you, Noel. You're so fabulous. <laughs> Noel Freeline, band leader. Yeah, I just really needed time to sling this hair to the side because. Period. That's a whole other thing. Cause my hair is usually in some other dude, but I want, since I'm the only girl in the group I can talk about this, I'm gonna get back to the song and do my 15 to 20 seconds. I love you. 